Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for September 20th. I'm Samantha Bartram. The county has been served. Less than 24 hours after the Board of Supervisors denied Open Band its cable franchise agreement application, the Dulles Telecommunications Company served the county with a lawsuit. The suit was filed back in December after the previous board also voted to deny the franchise agreement, but Open Band held off on serving the county, hoping the new board would bring a positive resolution for them. That was not to be as five supervisors voted Tuesday to deny the franchise agreement, some of them citing the lack of resolution to continued lit- litigation between Open Band and two of the communities it serves through bulk billing agreements. Residents maintain that the makeup of the agreement agreements creates an exclusivity that holds them hostage in a multi-decade contract with Open Band. The lawsuit states that the county overstepped its authority to regulate open video systems like Open Band and that the board's decision was arbitrary and capricious. The suit does, does call out some specifics of the previous board's decision but has not yet been amended to reflect Tuesday's action. It's not a surprise, but new census figures released today show Loudoun retains its ranking as the nation's most affluent county. Census reports indicate Loudoun's median household income falls at $119,000 a year, a full $13,000 more than second place Fairfax County. Other area jurisdictions topped the list as well. Arlington is third, Prince William is seventh, and Fauquier ranked eighth. Fred Drummond, one of the county's most distinguished educators, celebrated his 90th birthday today. Drummond served 36 years as an assistant principal and principal in Loudoun County Public Schools during years when racial tension was at its peak in the area. He helped manage the transition from segregation in the face of massive resistance to today's K-12 school system open to all Loudoun County children. Now Drummond says he sees his role as reminding educators, students, and parents how far the county has come. The Loudoun Laurels will honor Drummond for his stewardship and service during its annual gala October 19th. Finally, budding meteorologists out there may be interested in attending an open house held this weekend at the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Sterling. Attendees will have a chance to meet meteorologists and learn how weather forecasts are created details about the science of meteorology and how to best prepare for severe weather. Other attractions include a weather balloon launch, tours of the forecast operations center, informational booths and exhibits, hands-on science experiments, and volunteer opportunities for storm spotters. The Baltimore Washington Weather Forecast Office Open House is set for 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, September 22nd, and noon to 5 p.m. Sunday, September 23rd. The office is located at 43858 Weather Service Road in Sterling. For more information, go to the event website. For more on these and other stories around Loudoun, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.